thanks so much for coming on the pod. Thanks for coming here. This is Thank nice. You Thank you for having yeah. us. Beautiful home with your beautiful Thank you. Dog. Thank Nina. you. <gasps> She's here. Nina. Nina. That's our uh, producer. <laughs> We pay her in treats. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Pay her in love coming here. Um, yeah, welcome. Um, tour's going decent, going well, having fun. It's nice to be playing some songs. Yeah, yeah for, sure. for sure. That's awesome. It's also kind of like our first um, like headlining sort of thing. Yeah. In, in quotes. Yeah. Uh, since coming back from the pandemic or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of nice to like test the work and be like, is anybody going to come see us? Right. You know, well, which is scary. Yeah, it's terrifying. But some Did people came, and that was nice. Okay, good. <laughs> one yeah, guy, a couple one, people <laughs> came. Yeah, a couple people came. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just realized they don't have headphones. They don't have it. Oh, yeah. They're not getting the effects. Air horn effect. But this is our first uh, live <laughs> studio audience. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Off cam, we got the rest leave? of the band. Nina's off, too? Yeah, no, uh, exactly. yeah. Now what can you do? Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming on. I feel like um, I was really surprised that Will came on. Me too. People are scared to come on our podcast now. Scared? Yeah. Why? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> People are scared. I don't know. <laughs> we had uh, Will Yip. I think it was it was two episodes ago now. Yeah, he came. We had to go to him, but he he did come on. He agreed. But we didn't he, say anything crazy. He was, he was worried. He was really stressed <laughs> out that literally in the last, like, one minute, I mentioned uh, Gary the Retard from the Howard Stern show, and he was, like, panicked that I said that. <laughs> I'm like, dude, first of all, it's not like you said it, and I was saying somebody that, like, is a figure that existed. It's not like... You're and I was like, honestly, I said It's a government worse. name. That's just, honestly... <laughs> state is your name. <laughs> his birth certificate literally says that, so, like... <laughs> Call your uh, reps. You got Beetle Juice, you got Beetle Pimp, and Gary the Retard. And, um, and Howard's and Robin. They got some other crazy ones on there, too. I mean, they were all offensive. Yo, I was recently saw some Howard clips, and mm-hmm. as a Howard Stern fan, I must say, man, that guy should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing work. He, you know, he has a little thing, and he was... yeah. That's a thing. I believe he's his. He's probably like a uh, sweet enough guy. Now mm. he's a uh, he's a corporate shill. But mm. um, <laughs> the only I, Howard Stern, Howard Stern I've ever seen was uh, when the Red Hot Chili Peppers reunited with John and performed on the show, mm. and like they in, he interviewed them. That's all, the only Howard Stern I've really? ever seen. I think what it's was I, what was that like? Did he just I ask think. about drugs the whole time? Uh, no, I think he just like I think John just talked about like. Songwriting and like, <laughs> didn't he know? say like something about how he always knew he was supposed to play in Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yes, <laughs> yeah. he's meant to be. He's meant he's to so be. so cool. Um, beautiful. I don't love that band. Oh, the Chili Peps. Uh-oh. I think you could. I think that you could. I think that are, there's a natural. Um, are you a big fan? <sighs> fan. Yeah. No, go, I'm gonna, go say, go I'm, say I'm, I'm gonna say I'm a big fan of a specific era. I'm a fan. Fan. I'm a fan. Okay. Um. What's it? Uh. Boom. 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 Uh, the hotel, not Hotel California, but California Cajun. You just you Danny just did California. the riff from every one of their songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, ho- Danny, Danny, Ho-, Cal- Danny, Cal- Cal- Danny California. California. Yeah. That's the one. That was like that was like Beverly Hill. That's uh, the Weezer. One, that's the one with the um. It's the, the video Tom Petty game. riff. Yeah. No, yeah. no, you're thinking of Californication. Oh, Which is a that, was a pretty, that was a pretty cool video. That's they a said, great video, good song, great song. They said, you know what, this mm. worked. Let's do Danny California. I'm really confused, Jake. <laughs> they love California. Listen, Californication is like half of a very good record. Okay. And By The Way is awesome. By The Way. By The Way. Beautiful record. Beautiful. Beautiful, Beautiful guitar record. parts. The harmonies. Amazing harmonies. The harmonies are like, they just. Anthony they're... says things, does stuff. That's not. That's less my business. Yeah, we don't really. We don't. He's not our favorite component of the band. Yeah. Who's he? He's the one the who singer. says like. He's the singer. <laughs> Gooba doo. Gooba doo. Gooba doo. Yeah. He's got his shirt off. He's kind of got an Iggy Pop vibe, right? He looks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He looks incredible. His body is day, so. banging. Yeah. 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 See, I'm jealous. Great. I went swimming. We're hating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're hating. I went swimming yesterday and I got pictures taken of me and like I was like, ooh. <laughs> my, my 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 sister's very small, so like when I stand next to her, I just look like an ogre. We got it was our birthday. We have very similar birthdays. The birthday party together. Let's take a picture of Jacob and Ashley. And I'm like, 
Uh, here I go. <laughs> I look like uh, the beast or something, you know? But you could do some forced perspective where she just stands like way closer to the camera. Yeah. You know? I needed you yesterday. Yeah, I could have yeah, helped. I could have helped. Because we look so I was going to say, you probably have. Uh-huh. There is a photo that was recently taken of us at a wedding and oh it looks doctored. Like, I look like a tiny little peanut compared to you. I wish I could find it. I wish that was good podcasting for me to look for that picture right <laughs> it's now. Not but it's not natural. I'll, I'll find it after and I'll send it to you. It looks ridiculous. Yo, I bet it looks cool. It looks like I'm it kneeling looks, down. It looks like a <laughs> joke picture. Yeah, I, in my mind, I feel like it's very like um, you guys fuck with the monsters? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I don't know too much about them. Halloween costume. Hello. That'd be great. Monster I love the, mo- yo, the, the monsters, monsters are amazing. Yo, the Adams family is for like hot topic people, mm-hmm. and the monsters are for like real heads. Okay, okay. all right, cool. <laughs> We've been told about the monsters. Like, who the, told us about my the brother? Oh, right. He's like, you guys don't know the monsters. <laughs> How old is your brother? Uh, he is nearly 75. 50. <laughs> nearly 50? Yeah. Yeah, it's a that much older sense. brother. It, have it makes sense that, that he would yeah. be a, 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 a big monster's head. Maybe he's not nearly fifty. Born in the eighties or early eighties? Seventies. Seventies. Oh yeah, that would that would that's Probably, that tracks. Probably right. Yeah, I think that tracks. Around there. I yeah. remember on TV Land. That's why I remember the Munsters it would come on TV Land. Because hmm. Monsters. I'm, I'm a young. I, that wasn't on when I was a kid. I think we could do like a Doctor Evil Mini, mini Me. Thing. Oh yeah. Costume. <laughs> that, would, that would be good. That would be Movies. cool. <laughs> 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 you guys have to do that. Have you ever done a Halloween costume together? Yeah, mm-hmm. we did Kurt and Courtney once. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, we did. Because Sam was singing in a cover band on Halloween or something. Yeah. Um, you didn't have to tell the people that. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> we did I a cover we... band. <laughs> oh, cool. We did the Ramones cover band. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, oh, that's fun. cool. It was fun. I would love to do it again. Yeah, maybe this Halloween. It's crazy. We maybe. We got a lot of stuff going on. That is true. <laughs> 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 you guys dressed up? Uh, kind of. No, I mean, I wore chucks and um, <laughs> blue jeans. Like, how much can you dress up? Uh, I mean, I, I yeah. have long hair. I was yeah. going to cut my back. That's the know? thing. Yeah, yeah, none of us, like, yeah. got haircuts. But yeah. I feel like we all, like, I didn't wear clothes that I wear in my everyday life. Yeah. <laughs> my pants were pretty tight. Yeah. We, all right. It was a good set. For, chi- for the chicks. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Of course. We didn't play um, the hit, but we played the other hits. Like, we played We played some did, of We didn't hits. play boop, boop, bop. But did we? I feel like we. I thought we did. I thought we did play. The cars in the front yard. Yeah, I thought we did. did we play that? I feel like we were like we have to. Yeah, maybe we, we played that. We, we missed. We just you got to play hit. something for the posers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give them a little, a little, you know, chicken feed. It's like um, if you're um, what's that band? Uh, shoot, uh, I'm a teenage dirtbag. Oh, we, no, we yeah, you got to open with the song and close with the song. Uh-huh. Yeah, That's what you, you know. Everyone's to. here. Everyone's there for once in the middle. Are they, they Canadian? Little, like, no, I don't think but so. But they do have like Canadian swag. I was just yeah. saying. Um, <laughs> and I think it's just because they're very mediocre, so people just assume they're Canadian. I will say I really hate the gimmick of that song, but it's a fucking it's a really good yeah. song. It's my favorite Blink song. I'll tell you that. Oh, with your cars in the front yard, that song's good too. <laughs> they all oh, meld lit. together. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Lit. Lit we lit lit a uh, weedest lit. Blink-182 tour would make sense. Yeah. yeah Lit is sure. so much better than any of those. That's three. why I put them. Oh, I put them as direct for, <laughs> for Blink. I didn't have them opening for Blink. They're direct. Um, we just playing that song. Uh, who would play? We're we're currently living the Blink tour, and we know who's direct support. Yeah, Blink. but that's it's like. We just are lit. I'm saying in our time, when we're early 2000s, okay. you know. Oh, late, we're going late back 90s. in the yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, oh, in the era. <laughs> back in the time. We're back there, and we're. I thought you were putting together like a nostalgia tour. No, 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 no. God, no. <laughs> we're back. We're, we really got thrown back. Just in, time. in like 1999, that would have been lit. That would have been, been. That would have been figuratively. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gone to that tour. I straight up think Lit is the best out of those three bands. Uh, I can't they agree. Have, they don't have as many good songs as Blink, but they're. You think Lit is better than Blink 182? I think they only have one good record, but it's incredible. Have yeah. you listened to that record all the way through? I wouldn't say uh, no. I don't think. I oh, have. you really should, because okay. the the song the My Own Worst Enemy is it's like a good song. It's well, I would boldly say it's the worst song on the whole record. All right. Whoa. Okay. That's like okay. by a, like by a lot. Wow. Okay. I wouldn't say by a lot. I would it's say not the best it, song on the record. Give it three listens. Before you give it a full, unless you can't make it through once, then 
I think I have a, a high tolerance for this. Kind of I think it's I, like I think it's hit. incredible. This could it's very good. possibly hit. I think if you listen to it, it'll make a lot of sense why I like it. All right, I'm gonna do it. We'll do that one. We'll do Weedus back to back, and we'll see who wins. I yeah. don't know if the Weedus record. I can't stand. I've never listened to it. I've so. never heard another. Yeah. Song I don't know. I don't know that they have other it. songs because t- t- his voice is a little hard to get through. I think. Um, I met someone that was a straight up, and so did you. That was a straight up Weedus mm-hmm. fanatic. What? Do you guys remember the band Mixtapes? Kind of. Well, the singer of that band told me he was like gushing about uh, Weedus to me one time. And he's like, oh man, that guy's guitar pedal. He plays like an acoustic guitar, but he has this special guitar pedal that he made himself that makes his guitar, once he stomps on it, sounds like a perfectly distorted guitar. Oh no. And I was like, I really appreciate how excited about this you are because like, there are bands that I feel this way about, but I can't believe it's Weedus. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think he's doing like a, a little no. revisionist history moment? Um, no, I think he's it was pure passion. Like, I know everybody doesn't get it, but like you got to see it live. He was like, you got to see mm. Weedus live, and I said, you have. I would I don't love know. to just to see like what the crowd is like for every other song. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I went to a festival this summer last month. Weedus was the headliner. Did not stick around, unfortunately, but I went to go see Jessica Lee, Jessica Lee Mayfield was playing. It was a free festival. It was weird. It was strange, um, but she was playing uh, acoustic. Uh, it was weird. No one cared, but I was like, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Me and like five of us would burn. I, it's, but it's crazy. To me, she's like pseudo. Fa- she was on late night shows. Wow. Jessica Lee Mayfield. I was like, this is whatever. It was awesome. I, I really enjoyed it, but we just was the headliner one. But he was around. the only one that enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> it was like me and a few like people I knew. Were like, yeah, it was great. Um, Get but Weedus out here now. <laughs> literally, the whole town was just talking about like oh, Weedus. You know the song. <laughs> I, I heard it in a store of just like um, this this kid probably our age talking to this old lady. He's like, oh, Weedus is playing. She's like, who's that? And it's like, you know, I'm just a teen. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay, no, that song didn't stick around. So I don't know how the show went, but it's probably awesome. Yeah. But he was there. They but I was there. Slayed. I would like I to moshed. see Weedus from side stage. I don't want to be in the crowd. Mm. You don't want anyone to know you were there. No, I just don't want to be surrounded by the people. <laughs> I don't want to be in with you. Don't to, you don't want to get lumped up by Weedus fans. No. No. You heard the pit is nasty. <laughs> I don't want to get trampled as they all run toward the stage. I feel like it's just normal people. Yeah. It's just got to be yeah. normies. Yeah. Like it's straight things. up 42 year olds that, yeah. are, that are like. <laughs> Started drinking way. They started drinking yeah. before Jessica Lee Mayfield played. Yes, that's so, why no one cared. They were getting fucked up, getting ready for weed. Say, that's exactly who was there. This festival I went to it was like a rich white part of Pennsylvania. I was like, oh, this is yeah. Strange. I don't want them to rub off. On yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> Once they drop something from there's a few bills from their pocket. They dropped. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. I, <laughs> I, I usually try to hang around country clubs mm-hmm. and stuff, just like in the parking lot. So yeah. like, I'm just like, these motherfuckers, <laughs> they drop big bills a lot. If they drop a 20, they're not even going to think twice. No. I'm like, but I'm not, it's not my time. That's jump yeah. change. Worth my time. That's when you drop like some of your ice cream, you're like, for the birds. <laughs> <laughs> when you throw like an apple core out the window, mm-hmm. like, I'll let the birds have the rest. <laughs> it's like, the birds don't want that. No. <laughs> Aren't you like, isn't it like really bad to feed bread to ducks? I feel like there should be a wider PSA if that's true because I feel like old ladies have been feeding birds and ducks mm-hmm. bread for a millennium. <laughs> they love it though. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like you, bread. I feel like you can throw anything and they'll like at least chew on it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's you definitely shouldn't give them rice. I know that. Rice, rice is a no no. Yeah, I heard about bad. rice from The Simpsons. Yeah, but. Um, <laughs> what does rice do? It, 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 yeah, it. It's like uh, with salt does in their stomach. Oh, oh and then salt. Their stomach explodes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Common household items can just murder <laughs> many of the animals out there. Oh, man. That's such, a, <laughs> that's such a bummer that it's so easy to fuck up a duck that way. I think ducks probably aren't supposed to eat that much bread. It's probably unnatural for them to eat that quantity of bread. I've definitely but, given like a family of ducks a full loaf. Yeah, oh, a full we, loaf. Just because I was just like so excited, you uh, know. Yeah. I was just like, they love this. We've stuff. created a world where they're probably eating like Taco Bell and oh, for sure. Well, they're welcome. You know, like they're sucking on the wrappers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they've had a little bit of everything. So if we're just giving them bread, that's not so bad. I don't think. Uh, I mean. 
Don't get me I wrong. I don't give them the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I, but pre uh, happening upon this knowledge, I definitely was same thing, feeding them loaves of bread. <laughs> like you I loved before. ducks when I was younger. So I uh I was I can't tell you the amount of times that I would feed ducks bread. Yeah. Mm. I don't think I've ever fed them anything else. <laughs> I didn't know they ate anything else. I thought they relied on us to give them the bread. I think they're supposed to eat like healthy algae and stuff. They do that thing where they tip upside down and oh, they all stick out of the water. So I, love so I don't know cute. what they're I don't know what they're getting into down there. But. One time I was feeding ducks stuff and the, the snapping turtle came. <gasps> <laughs> and it ate the duck. It ripped open the duck's <laughs> neck. <laughs> ducks are gone fast. They're baby ducks. Oh my god! Ooh. I felt so responsible to like gathering them for yep. the. This I was like, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I want a duck so bad. If they didn't like, kind of just go to the bathroom everywhere, I think yeah. I would make it work. Dude, a p- duck and a pig. Oh, cute. Oh. And the duck like sits on the pig oh. and it just like trots yes. around. Oh, that's my yes. dream. Yeah. And I like a little tiny cow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Know. I've seen those online, and I'm really charmed by them. I don't know that they're real, but... Yeah, I don't know if they're really there. Yeah, just... what's up with them? Yeah, I think they just turned huge. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a scam. Yeah. yeah like the bonsai would... cats. Having a big ca- uh, cow in the backyard here wouldn't go well for me, I don't think. But no. It'd be nice. It wouldn't go well for the cow, I don't think. But yeah, they need to yeah. run. I think it'd be awesome mm-hmm. for you. We were talking about in the last episode how sick it would be to have, like, a farm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want a farm Just, so Just, like, a big farm and just, like... But you're you're independently wealthy. Yes. Yeah. The farm isn't your life. It's not about yeah. making money. Exactly. Yeah. It's just about like, oh, I said these animals, they run around. They Live in their best life. It's like a life. sanctuary. Yeah. yeah. I want to be a rancher just like John Marston from Red Dead. <laughs> 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 can't go an episode without talking about I it. I literally can't. You know? talk about it. Do you guys play video games? Uh, I got really into Fortnite during the pandemic. Oh. I play that a lot. I I don't I can't play Fortnite. It's too violent for me. Um, <laughs> I, I like Stardew Valley. Oh, I know Farming. that game. Yes, yes, I know Stardew. Is that Same the one where you just kind of fart about. around? Yes. You do chores. You mill about. You You're doing chores. It's really it's soothing. Yeah. It's very soothing. Um, and the well, soundtrack is beautiful. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> what, was that, what was that one game that everybody was obsessed with during the pandemic that was like the it's same close. kind of thing? It's not oh. Farmville. Somewhere. It's called... No. It's called. It's on the tip of my fucking you know. tongue. What is it? Animal, Animal Crossing. Crossing. Animal Crossing. Yes, dude. A guy that I worked with got really into it, and he's like, "Yo, you should, you should get a Switch and play <laughs> you should it." Check it and out. I was like, "You make me sick." <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make the people mad, but I feel like Animal Crossing is like the corpo version of Stardew Valley. I think it is. Yeah, I, th- I think it's. It makes sense. A little bit. Because you have to pay for it. So I, in my mind, it's for rich yeah, people. Yeah, I don't like when you have to pay. That's yeah. my problem with video games. <laughs> oh, Stardew's free? I don't like free? when you have to pay for I think for it's them. free. It's or maybe it's, or like it's really cheap really or something. Cheap. I love this like world we're in now, where video games are free. Yeah. Yeah. And That's the only reason I got into Fortnite. I, I got, we got skins? a Switch. And, uh, no. <laughs> so you beat Have the- I? No. I'm in massive I got a, debt. I got a battle pass. <laughs> I bought a battle pass once. Okay, okay, okay. A battle pass. Yeah. But well, then that's self-sustaining. There you go. Yeah, I think that's the one thing that can really catch people. Like, yeah, I've spent hundreds of dollars on skins. On like, skins. Ow. I have every skin. <laughs> but I love free video games. That's What's sweet. the most expensive skin? I think they're all around the same price. There's but not I- like a really cool Post Malone skin that's <laughs> That one's a pretty yeah. penny. <laughs> like the platinum Post Malone skin. Mm. Yeah. Platinum. <laughs> yeah. <It's> special. <laughs> he's got a new record out. I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's Austin. called Austin. Oh, are you fan? You guys fans? Uh, I think he's really cute and I wish we could yeah. be friends, but okay. I'm not. And he had that one song. In the Spider Man soundtrack. I don't know what it was, okay. but I could listen to you like all day. I was like, yeah. this song's so beautiful. And he's like a knight in the music video. Yes. Uh-huh. When he's the That's knight in the sweet. music video and when, when he wears a cowboy hat. I thought he was really sexy. Oh, my sexy. God. It really worked Ooh. for him. Sexy. Yeah, I remember there was a period where he was wearing like really cool George Jones suits. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that was going to be my thing if I ever got rich. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny that he, um, if you have long hair, so like, a, like a white guy, I would play basketball and they would be like, in, in the city, and you know, non-white people would just call me Post Malone. That's where they would go to. That or Dave Grohl. 
They'd be like, oh, oh Dave Grohl there can play. I'm like, all right, oh again, give me the ball. I love that he's a notable white to, black, to just black youth. <laughs> it was either Post Malone or Dave Grohl. Oh, damn, like, Dave Grohl here. <laughs> Post Malone has like tattoos on his face and the people that, are just like, your hair is so Post yeah, Malone. He's white and has brown, brown hair. If you put it in a ponytail, you're done, dude. I was like, I guess so. Uh, he's a little probably a little younger than me, but sure. He's skinny now. He looks great. Yeah, sometimes that makes me feel weird when that happens. When you get skinnier, when you get older? Oh, we I talk wish. about it all the time. Yeah. Like, um, Sam Richardson, I feel he looks... He does. He's, like, in too good of shape now. He is. It doesn't seem right. We don't want to root for people yeah. when they... When they <laughs> I, I, I started to say this all the... Straight up, I say this all the time. I'm like, yo... If you get, if you start to be like a heavy set person, you just gotta stick with it. I think, generally speaking, aside from like, if I'm other than like RuPaul's Drag Race, mm -hmm. I don't want to see anyone glow up. <laughs> yeah. Once they've glown I up, I want to see I'm, them win as like their yeah. real true self. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like I don't want you to start getting roles in the Marvel universe once you have the six pack. Like I want to no. see like my neighbor winning. You know, yes. like I want to see like just like my neighbor Joe win. You know, yeah, for yeah. Sure. You, you guys don't like that they yassified Kumail. Huh? <laughs> no, <laughs> he was perfect the way he was. Put yeah. on Drag Race when they come back with like new teeth and the whole thing. I love that. Yeah, okay. I, I've um never watched that show. Oh, no. people should love watch. That show. I, here's my thing. I don't like reality shows yeah. or game shows. I thought you were going to say gay people. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't like reality shows or gay people. <laughs> Clip that, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, that was the third thing I was going to say. No, I don't like reality shows or like, I guess, I know that's not a game show, but it's like a. It's a competition. competition show. Uh huh. That's but it's not things. about the competition. I, I I know, but I just don't like the only two kinds it's of shows that I've ever liked. Charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Absolutely. Whoa. Okay. Is that it's a quote from serving? Are you doing like a monologue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've seen, you've seen a lot of the show. Uh, I've seen a lot of yeah. the show. <laughs> We're fans um, of the show. How many fans seasons the are there? So an but unbelievable you pick, amount. You could just pick a season and then you don't have to watch before or after. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. Season they, 8 is my favorite. They don't call back anyone from they, previous well, ones. They do, but... There's a, a side show called um, All Stars, Drag Race All Stars, uh, where they, they bring, bring back people back. who haven't... See, I like those shows. Yeah. yeah. Do they live together? Uh, no, yeah. they don't live together. Not a real world style? You don't see style? that kind of stuff. No. I don't, I can't get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I like, gotta see the night vision cams of them, like, hooking up under the blankets and oh. shit. He needs, like Jersey Jersey Shore, Shore. Yeah. Yeah. He needs Jersey Shore, yeah. He needs Jersey Shore. I was gonna say, there's only two shows of, of that sort of kind that I've ever um, gotten into. It's Jersey Shore. Because the people are so captivating. I oh my god, love we love that. Jersey Shore. <laughs> it's probably one of our favorite shows. It is the most, like... Accidental cultural hit I can think of. Yes. It's because they definitely were like, we did the true life thing, and people are really fascinated mm -hmm. by the Jersey Shore Guidos. Let's just like get a bunch of dumb, a bunch of dummies in here and just like <laughs> laugh at them for a couple seasons. It turns then, into like a beautiful, a beautiful show, show about, about forgiveness and forgiveness and, and family. Like family. And, oh my god, it's it's perfect. incredible. Do you think they just accidentally? Yeah, into I, that they're totally. like, yeah, they were sure. watching the playback and they're like, oh my god, this is where it's headed. This yeah. is amazing. Yeah. That, the chemistry Once between them all thing. is just like so. It's just. Yeah. Did you watch beautiful. Family Reunion? No. I see. I watched some of it. I I watched the the two seasons where Ronnie's like going through all the publicity uh -huh. stuff, oh, yeah, yeah. and he's just they're like, "Yo, man, so what's going on?" And he's like, "What do you mean?" Yeah. And they're like, <laughs> "We follow you on Instagram. You're like all over the news, man. It says that your your baby mama like dragged you from a car," and he's just like. Uh, I don't think so. You know about that? Yeah, and he's like, they're like, yo, is he joking? <laughs> but yeah, like, I only watched like a little bit of that, but that was maybe some of the best stuff. The whole saga when Situation gets out of prison. Oh, and they're all there and they're for all him, there and they're for like him. crying oh when he God. only gets like a couple months or whatever. Oh, oh that's beautiful. beautiful. Or when his, his wife, like, act, she gets pregnant, they were having yes. so much, it's just, they're it's in so much stuff. sex. I like his glow up, because his glow up isn't physical. It's emotional. Yeah. It's emotional. Yeah. That's the glow up I'm looking glow up for. Rocks. Yeah. And His physical glow might be a glow down. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's maybe that's why I like yeah. it even better. <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah. That's what I can hope for, you know? Mm -hmm. As I get older, I didn't, you know. Body I think goes I'm down. glowing down. 
I'm glowing sure down? I'm glowing down. I think I'm You think currently? Yeah. No way. No. Yeah. You're so beautiful. I don't think so. Aww. I'm not doing this yeah. for praise. Yeah, me too. I, I'm, I'm not... going down too. I'm going down too. <laughs> no way. You're so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really like. <laughs> I think it, it feels high stakes now. Yeah. I feel like I got to make it work right now. <laughs> um, you're definitely younger than I am, and I have def I have felt that way for the past five years. Glowing. You feel down. like you're going down. No, I don't feel like that anymore. I'm. Oh, okay, I, okay. You're over. I'm never gonna stop glowing up. <laughs> Fuck we yeah. love that. We Hell love yeah. it, dude. <laughs> Yes, Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> I watched Nathan for you yesterday. Good show. Because I was watching uh, How to with John Wilson. How to oh. and is it kind of unbelievable. I watched it, season three, episode one, and I was like, I, I need something. I need a little more of this. So yeah, put on a Nathan. You need too. the more mean spirited. Version. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I did watch when he he walks the tightrope and he gets the girlfriend. <laughs> That's the one you yeah. watched. Yeah. Well, I watched the one before that, and then bled in, and I was like, oh, this one was pretty good, too. I think that might be my least favorite episode, I think. Least favorite? <laughs> he gets a guy a girlfriend, he gets a kiss? <laughs> I don't like how deceptive it is. <laughs> um, do you get uh, uncomfortable? Do you feel like he is a little bit of a bully sometimes? No, I feel like if, if you watch the show... Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> I think if you watch the show, and you're like, he's too mean... It's because you're afraid you could get got. Get got by, by him, him, yeah. Like, we watched it with our friend, and he mm. was like, how do you guys like this? He's so mean. And we're like, <laughs> <laughs> you just think that because... It was like the gas station rebate episode where he takes those people out into it the makes woods. Oh, that one's great. Yo, that was yeah. Are you kidding That's me? That's a mini tale of Jersey Shore type. Like, yes. By the end, they're all just like, a, they're just like, yo, we're a family. family. <laughs> we're just staying on this mountain together forever. <laughs> It's beautiful. <laughs> the one I always end up watching, I don't know why, every time I watch the show, I end up watching this one, but it's the one where uh, the guy has the TV store, oh, yeah. and oh. they do the price match scam on, <laughs> on Best Buy, oh. and then they have the alligator mm -hmm. in the room, and you have to climb through the door. That one's That's good. That's a good one. Like, you climb through the door? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could see showing up and be like, okay. This is obviously a mistake, but I'm going to see if I can get them to actually but do But what this. if? Yeah. But then you walk in, and they're like, he's in a tux, and he's like, we have a strict... I would be like, I'm not... This is fucking weird, man. And there's cameras there. I'd be like, I'm out of here. I would put it on. I'd ham it up. You'd be the guy play, that goes and rents a tux down the street? Yeah, I'd play into Nathan. If Because if you... They, they know, definitely they, don't know who he is. They don't know is. who he is? I don't yeah. think so. I don't think so. Oh, wow. Not at that point. Now but I think would. now... I think now he is Canada's A-list celebrity. Mm -hmm. Right, he's the West Coast guy. Because yeah. you guys are more East Coast. Canada. We're like in the, right in the middle. Right, okay. in, the right middle, in the dead yeah. center. Is that a thing? A-list. I think he's Canada's A-list celebrity. So he's up there with Bieber? Okay, there are some people that I don't think count as okay. a Canadian celebrity. Uh, Bieber has been too much of a... He, I don't think he lives in Canada. No, fuck no. No, no way no, he lives I, in Nathan Canada. Nathan doesn't either. Drake? Yeah, but he... Uh, yeah, okay, Drake is Canadian. <laughs> Drake is, so okay, okay. I like Nathan Fielder more, so I'm going to give it to him. Gosling's not Canadian. Yes. He is. He is. is he? And oh, Ryan okay. Reynolds. They're very similar type of people. Yeah. I like Nathan more than both of them. So, so he's still A-list. Same. Yeah. To you. you to see, this is your A-list. <laughs> my <laughs> personal ranking. You haven't seen Barbie yet, right? No. Still Me not. neither. I'm Have too, you seen I, it? I tried. Of course, oh. come on. I tried in my straightness. <laughs> my straightness said no. <laughs> I was repelled from the theater when I tried to enter the doors. No, I um, I want to see Barbie badly. I do not care about Oppenheimer. I don't I, care, about but I will see it, dude. Oppenheim He's these cool. nuts, brother. Yes. <laughs> um, yo, I just like don't care. Yeah, What's I'm like the bomb. About? The explosion scene will be probably cinematic. You could watch Terminator too. I, I agree. There's an explosion yeah. scene in that. You're That's good. one of the, the best. Of the it's movie a good one, is cool. yeah. When the skeleton just like uh, is stuck against the fence. <laughs> yeah. That's good so stuff. So awesome. <laughs> but yeah. I, I, no, I, I, I it's the, the theaters are too hot right now. Okay. It's funny that they're hot for the first time in like. I know. Forever. Mm -hmm. So cool. And then they'll go back down and be disgusting again. Yeah. <laughs> or they are disgusting now because so many people are in them. I went in there and just popcorn everywhere. All the soda machines don't work. Dude, it's a that's the dopest. Then you can just scoop it when your popcorn gets low. You can scoop it off that's the scene true. in your popcorn. <laughs> you don't have to go back out there and refill it. That's free popcorn. 
They gotta invent the, the toilet in the in the theater. I agree. Or there should be a toilet in the car too. Check this out. Just hear me out. Hundred percent. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. This was this was a little less ewy and disgusting. Just just the like monitors, right? As you go to the bathroom, so you can still watch the movie while you're in bathroom oh in the God. in the IMAX theater. How that would be straight good. up Bluetooth receiver at your seat that'll connect to your phone. You yes, can just, you can take it oh, with you. There you go. You just oh. sync it up. Yeah. Now, even with, if you have to take like a smoke break. Exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm outside freaking smoking up mid movie. <laughs> Within like a radius, you know, we'll play yeah. we'll, we'll play by sure. the rules a little yeah. bit. Sure. You're not you gonna can't take it go home. like to the store and get a cheaper snack. You gotta stay exactly. The You're in vicinity. danger of leaving. Make sure you don't. Mm. Beep, 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 You're gonna miss yeah. a really good scene yeah. if you. Yeah. Go An too alarm far. goes off. Danger! <laughs> danger! <laughs> danger! You're going too far. Danger! <laughs> <laughs> but what if they just put like at the end of the aisle, every every like three or four aisles, maybe just a single stall? <laughs> then you don't. Have but then to what about the washing your hands? You don't need, who you does don't really that anyway? Need to do that. Yeah, That's I don't. True. <laughs> That's true. I really don't do that. If you're just Unless I'm peeing. sharing popcorn with, like with a stranger, but <laughs> a stranger. that's only like every other time. <laughs> One time I went to see um, the newest, the first newest Star Wars movie. The Rogue first. One. No, the one before that. Force Awakenings. Yes. Awakening. I don't think yeah, it's you're close. Yeah. yeah. Awakens. Yeah, that yeah. one's, I think. Okay. I went to see that, and I was by myself. Mm-hmm. And I went to, I was going to buy my ticket, and then a lady in front of me that was like with her family turned around. She was like, Are you seeing Star Wars? <laughs> That's exactly how she asked. And I, was like, <laughs> and I was like, Uh, yeah. And she was like, Here you go. We have an extra ticket. You can come <gasps> with us. And I was like, I was like, Oh, all right, thanks. And I looked at it, and it was for a 3D showing, and I've never wanted, I've never. Held back being rude in my life <laughs> more than this moment. And I was just like, oh, I wanted to be like, I'd rather fucking just pay for the ticket. <laughs> I hate I hate 3D movies. It does suck. And then I went to see it and I sat with this family. Sit with no, them? Yeah, oh I had fuck. to. Yeah, because it was reserved. So, cool. so that was just in a row. So I was just sitting right next to this lady. Oh, wow. That's really brave. Not of only you. that, I had to stand in line like at the concession line with them. So I'm just like chilling with them for the whole movie. Did you talk to them? No, not at all. <laughs> in line, you didn't talk to them. No. Oh my God. No. I was I was stewing about the fact that I it was a 3D showing. I was like, this, this is fucking pointless. So, like I can't wear the 3D glasses over my glasses. I so the whole movie is just dark as shit. And I feel like it's already like your view is obstructed. I, the whole thing's a sh- scam, I think. It doesn't look It doesn't that look good, good really. No, it's not that your eyes to adjust at. to it, and it's like, I don't know. I'm not tr- deceived by things fake okay, flying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I, I will tell you the first time, the first 3D movie I saw, this is so stupid, I saw My Bloody Valentine 3D, and there's a scene where the axe flies up the screen, <laughs> and, and I involuntarily went. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, kind of fun. Yeah, that's good. There's something to it. But uh, it's not my preference. But but I don't feel like Star Wars is a movie that needs to be in no. 3D. You don't need to be like, oh my god, the the whatever the spaceship is coming at me, Falcon Two or whatever. <laughs> you know, god but bless, but Falcon an axe two. being thrown at you that's might scare cool. the shit out of you. Or Jackass 3D was kind of fun with the penis is flying. flying at your at you? whoa, whoa. Oh, that was yeah, fun. Yeah, that, that was, was fun. That, that was fair good. enough. I saw the Titanic in 3D and it was <laughs> really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Insanely sad. So they went, they re went through that movie and formatted it for 3D. 3D. That's and really And it felt nuts. like you were there. It felt like you, it was cold in that theater. When she dropped the, the, the little um, jewelry, was it, did it like fall into you? Just like fall. That's like a, <laughs> um, do you guys ever go to a 4DX showing? What the hell is that? You feel it, right? Yeah, so 4DX oh. is basically, I think it's basically, if there are any theater files out there, <laughs> I apologize if I'm getting this wrong, but I think it's like an IMAX showing, but like uh, uh, the seats like pulse and stuff yeah. with stuff in it. So it's like, if there's a fight scene, there's punches, you're getting like, <laughs> your seat is like kind of like softly assaulting you. But I heard uh, <laughs> the whole movie is just I'm getting punched in the back. To make yeah, it feel my sister in law said that uh, she took my 
niece and nephew to see the new Avatar in 4DX. Oh. And it was just like an assault on the senses because there's <laughs> water the whole time. So you're getting like spritzed with stuff and just like wind and things like whooshing past your head. I'm good. I, yeah, That's I don't need that. Crazy. Yeah. You ever been to Disney World? Yes. No. You ever been to Animal Kingdom? Yes. You ever go into the ride in the tree? No. Bugs. Okay. That's a 4D movie. I did see a 4D <laughs> movie in Disney World. Oh, really? They have, yeah, I guess they have them other places too. Don't like scary. them. They, I don't like because yeah. I felt the cockroaches the on my the bugs. Oh. Yes, we did. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Yes, that Ooh. one. I don't like that one no, either. Did you like feel the mice. kids on your legs? Yeah, the kids were crawling <laughs> yeah, all over my so. legs. <laughs> <laughs> they were so small. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. Get these kids off me. <laughs> like those Instagram filters that like people prank people on when they like show them the phone. And there's just a spider crawling off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love no. those. <laughs> That's like, like that's like gets me every time. Kind of <laughs> shit. I don't like spiders. I don't like snakes. No, thank you. So <laughs> that I don't like those rides. Yeah, not for me. I, creepy. Too I creepy. think that um, I think spiders are a little bit cute. Not like the long, they are like scary ones, but the I feel like spiders are like cute. Like a snake is like hard to love. I think we kind of like the whole pony crew kind of have like little baby minds where we see it. Any animal, we're like, oh, we're like, oh a little tiny ant. Yeah, like, look at the spider's <laughs> web in the pizza place window. <laughs> there was so, an ant in the van for like three hours, and we named it like Gary or something, and like he definitely died. But it was cool to peace, like have him with not us for a Gare. bit. No, yeah. Gary. I mean, rest in peace. Pour one out for him. Um, nah, not again. In insects can die. In my I, I kind of have the same baby brain thing <laughs> up to a certain point. Like, if there's like a fly in my apartment. I'll I let it live for a little bit. I'm like, I, it's, it's got to fucking go. It's, it starts <laughs> to like really mess with my psyche. Mm -hmm. You ever yeah. see the um the Breaking, the Breaking Bad, Bad episode? episode. Yeah, oh, it feels yeah. like that every yeah. time. And they that know. I think that's why that's such a, like a, an epic episode because everyone's like, damn, dude, when there's a fly, <laughs> you can't get a fly. <laughs> that wears on a man. I can relate. <laughs> yeah. The cracks, the selling the dope stuff, I can't relate, but the fly, you can. Hey, man. The crystal meth. We all it? relate to Breaking Bad in our mm -hmm. own ways. I think that's a terrible show. I've been, I've gone on yeah. record saying that it's really bad. It is a terrible show. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you watched it? Pretty recently. I've seen it so, uh, many times. Oh man, I'm I think it's, you love it. I think it's so I absurd that like it made it. me laugh the last time I watched it. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> the, the first season is like, the first episode is actually comical. How bad it is. <laughs> Acting's bad. The scenes are bad. There's like yes. CGI and stuff, and it. it looks awful. It's bad. <laughs> I'd rather watch Avatar One. Well, wait, is it called Breaking Good? So yeah, there you go. You know what? That's yeah, a Bazinga. You that's got a, me there. You got me there. Hook yeah, me yeah, up, dude. Yeah. I am um, Bazinga. There. You got me there, dude. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I totally can't argue with that. It's not called Breaking Good. Man, you know, I never good. thought of it that way. Yeah, that's <laughs> my right. eyes are open now. It's like when I first saw <laughs> snakes on a plane. I didn't really like, get it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like pissed off because I was like, those shouldn't be on there. Well, I was just sort of like. I'm like a reptile person, and I, uh, especially when I was younger, and I was just like, ah, snakes don't really do that. <laughs> like, I was watching the whole movie, I was like, this isn't really snake behavior. <laughs> and then, like, later realized, like, oh, it's like a, supposed to be like a B movie. Like, it's supposed to be really stupid. <laughs> and you now know? I think it's funny. And one time, yeah. it really scared Jake. You ever seen the end of it? You've seen the movie, right? I've not seen, seen it. it, no. I won't spoil it for you, but there's, you can, there's a jump. I think you can spoil it. It's there's a jump enough. scene at the end, and it scared the crap out of me. I was also Imagine like, if that was 3D. I'd be done. I'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I was tired too. I was a little sleepy. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say I was. I was pretty young at the time. <laughs> that too. I wasn't. I wasn't that old. He was more easily scared. <laughs> yeah, when he was, when he was 19. I'm definitely more scared now, which is worrisome. And think about if I lose my mind, I'll be just scared the whole time. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Opin that? Opinions on ghosts? They're real. real. <laughs> They're real. They're real. I feel like if I say they're real, it makes it too real to me, so I don't want to say it. But I have had experiences that I will talk about if you want. Uh, Yeah, go on. Um, okay, so uh, I grew up in this house that was like a pretty spooky house. Uh, I like a covenant of nuns had lived in it prior to us. Uh, and that you, is creepy. Yeah. You, it's just naturally creepy. Uh, you would always hear like noises in the back room, uh -huh. and you it often sounded like there was people walking up and down the stairs, which sounds dumb, but no. whatever, it's true. That sounds scary. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. Dog, the dog would sit at the bottom of the stairs and look up all the time. Um, 
And then I think this is actually a spirit attachment story. Okay. By the way. Whoa. Um, <laughs> and then one time my, my friend Kyle Murray slept over. We were probably like, I don't know, like 12 maybe. And we woke up in the middle of the night and the TV was on and the radio was on and my dad was in bed. So I just got up and turned them off and was like, guess I won't think about this anymore. Um, but then years later, like I, I was probably like in my mid 20s or something. I was house sitting for my dad uh-huh. in a different house. Um, and I w- went to bed on the couch in the living room and woke up in the middle of the night and all the lights were on. And again, I was just like, turning these off and not thinking about it anymore. You're crazy. I would have burned the house yeah. down. I just went back to bed. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? There's nothing I can do about it. Um, I think there was a uh, a power surge. Yeah. And your power went off <laughs> and, went, and everything went back on. the switches yeah. up. Yeah. But the cabinets weren't open. The cabinets weren't no, open. No, you're good. No. They yeah. Weren't. As long as none of the chairs are like on top of tables or anything, that would... Yeah, I would be like, well, go Scott. <laughs> okay, but check this out. My dad also told me, I didn't tell him any of this. Uh-huh. We weren't talking about this. He told me that he used to go to the graveyard all the time to see the the grave of a deceased relative of his. Okay. And he stopped going because he said he thought something followed him home. The, the light I ghost. I think there's something. Um, there's a lot of things that happened that were really scary to me. Okay. That I don't want to say that I think ghosts are real. I'm not going <laughs> to say it on record. I'm not okay. going to let them know that I think that. Yeah, but they can hear audio waves. For sure. So they you want to be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure they can. A couple movies would insinuate they, they kind of are audio waves or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, so ghosts may or may not be real. May aliens. Be real. This is a hot topic. Um, aliens. I, t- I think real. You think real? I think... The universe is so big, it's unlikely that we're the only thing that worked. Especially, like, there's all these animals and shit. Like, So you don't believe they just found the aliens? What do you mean by that? You guys haven't heard? We're oh, not, yeah, yeah. We're not, like, too up-to-date on... I'm mm. not too up-to-date on it, but I'm saying, like, I think the odds of us being the only oh, yeah, thing sure. in the entire universe is, like, it's kind of ridiculous to think that. I guess... W- mm, okay, all right. I won't compare the two. What? We'll, we'll, you gonna compare what? I'm gonna say I'm saying I'm pro alien. Is what I'm me saying. too. If the aliens are listening, I'm pro alien, and I'm pro I'm pro ghost too. I'm, I'm not trying ghost. to get on it. No, yeah, Actually, yeah. no, I'm pro ghost. I'm pro I don't ghost. get on it. See, I think they're se- they're totally separate. I don't think the yeah. That's the, why I can't ex- compare them. First they of all, are separate. I think they're both fake. <laughs> <laughs> you think they're both fake? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's like intelligent life. I feel like there might be like amoebas and stuff out there, but like I don't think there's fucking. Yeah, we're we're top dog. That's very Catholic of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also I don't think the universe is as big as they say. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. It's more linear. <laughs> it's more flat. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, we talked about this last time. Yeah. I, it's I, hot topic. I, I I think that we're just like a not the Matrix. I don't really like subscribe to the thought that uh, we live in a simulation. Okay. But I do think we're like an experiment of some kind. Performed by who? Oh, I'm not sure. Who's to say? <laughs> Elon. Elon. Probably. Okay. Not Elon's a stooge for us all to laugh at. <laughs> <laughs> he truly is. Uh, Steve Jobs from the grave. Actually, I don't know if he was a genius. Or he, he wasn't a tech guy. He wasn't he's dumb. A, he's a genius. He was doing something. He's doing something. He had a vision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He did wear... His, but he didn't build He did shit. pick one fit, and it was a bad fit. Yeah. The turtleneck? Mm-hmm. Had, to, had to stick with it though. Tucked that was in his turtleneck with jeans. That's loser fit. Yeah. You have a billion dollars. Co. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's kind of cooler than the other billionaires' fits though. Oh, I like, mean, nobody's really. What if he came up with like a fur coat on? Just yeah. that would be cooler. D-I- and chains. Looks like just... Post Malone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or like a Honestly, fifty cent bulletproof vest type situation. Yeah. Yeah. That would be that cool. Would be that would be cool. Because be hard. of course everyone wants him dead. You yeah. Know? Yep. Yeah. You know, the only people that have business wearing those is billionaires. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you don't got a bill to your name. If I was a billionaire, I would off. dress like this. $20 Wrangler jeans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. $650 custom made uh, cowboy boots. Mm-hmm. Cool. $25,000 custom made cowboy hat. <laughs> 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 button down Wrangler t shirt or uh, like button down mm-hmm. shirt. $20 uh, denim Wrangler jacket. 
That's how I would wear, dress every single day. <laughs> okay. And these are cool. socks? Oh, yeah, I'd wear socks. You the Luthan? Of course. Okay. I only wear one kind of underwear. <laughs> That's like my thing. <laughs> socks, though? I would probably buy nicer socks. Because I have noticed as I, as I get older that uh, I require a certain caliber of sock. I agree. It's cool to buy nicer socks. Yeah. yeah. I used to live a like a, a burlap sock and underwear kind of life. I was just Whoa. getting stuff for Christmas, never buying my own stuff. Uh-huh. And just rocking with that. And I I had a lot of ass problems during the pandemic that led to me buying new underwear, which was not the solution. I had to have surgery twice. Oh. But uh when I bought the new underwear, I was like, what have I been doing? Like I used to have these underwear that I'd put on, they're like boxer briefs. Mm-hmm. And within an hour, they would be so loose. Like they're yeah. possibly <laughs> loose. I just thought that's I thought that's you were how gonna say soaked. Lived. Well, yeah, probably <laughs> they were soaked. Too. They probably were that too, because they weren't like you know, they weren't like quick dry or anything. You can buy like techno technical underwear now, you know? Yeah, they always yeah. say they always have the word technology on the on yeah, the packaging. <laughs> they can put technology on anything. I love when you buy like um like bathroom wipes and they all have say like uh, they have like a special technology that allows them to be flushable. <laughs> <laughs> None of them are flushable. Yeah, that's just flush a, that's a scam. <laughs> nope. Yeah, for sure. Hotel flush though, flush it away. Yeah, Hotel like apartment. Oh, oh see, so yeah, I do it at my anywhere yeah. you don't own. You're, oh, yeah. You flush those all day. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love the hotel room. You just crank it up to crank it down to sixty five or as yeah. low as it goes. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Look, go wild. I, do you guys like staying in a hotel room? It's the best. Yeah. A, a nice hotel room, like. Decent hotel room. I'm not staying in a red roof inn, you know. Okay. And like being like, this is great. Yeah. 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 yeah we're we're bougie. We're like. I'm not even bougie. Just just adulting. Adult adult adultish. <laughs> for people that tour for not a lot of money, we're bougie. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because we're like we'll like we'll eat it. Money wise, and it's like we're not staying in a shitty hotel. <laughs> we don't say it like. The Hyatt every night, but we definitely stay. Most nights, though. Sometimes yeah. we we definitely you if can, we can get a deal on a Hyatt. What are you, what are you nice. spending per room? What's your um, what's your limit? One fifty is like the the aim. Mm-hmm. One fifty or less. But some nights it's more. Some nights it's less. That's the thing. You average to one fifty. Yeah. We got a one fifty the other day, and it was bad. Right. Yeah, Moist. see, it'll happen. Bad. Where yeah. was yeah. This, where was this in the world in a country? Cleveland, Cleveland, outside really? of Cleveland. Really? I think $150 would go a long way. Yeah, you would, you would think so. Yo, huh. when we yeah. were on that church like, tours, there was a lot of spots where it was like, why is it so expensive here? Yeah. Yeah. It's a dump. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. They're this just like, hotel had a we pool gotcha. and a gym. Not a great gym, mm. but you don't usually get a pool at a place like that. Yeah. yeah. But the like... The cuck chair had stains on it. It, was covered it, looked in like, stains. it looked like somebody had chewed the arm of the desk it chair. It was wild. It was very damp. It smelled weird. Damn, you guys are the in the freak ch- chamber. Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. in the freak chamber. When they see people walking in with like they probably thought you guys were like a, shooting a porn. Yeah, all over <laughs> They looked at this one in the porn room. Like, yeah. They got a lot of bags. And stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, put them in the porn room. <laughs> They're going to do it anyway. We might as well just stick them in this one room and worry about cleaning that one or not cleaning it, I guess. It'll happen. I used to be hotel pilled. I wanted to get a hotel every night, mm-hmm. especially right when we came our first store back. Yep. I was like, fuck it. Let's just, nobody offered in advance. Let's just get a hotel tonight. Mm-hmm. Let's get a hotel tonight. Yes. Every night I just wanted to get a hotel. Yeah. And now I've, I'm, I've flipped back. And mm-hmm. I think that's because I am a little older and all my friends have like, nicer houses mm. and I know people in places yeah. but w- now when we can't stay at one of my like normal wealthy <laughs> friends houses my wealthy I mean they have like a, a job yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I can't stay at one of their houses and we have to stay at a hotel I'm like fuck I see oh, I feel bad man. now I feel like I'm the opposite way because if there's a lot of times people are like, oh, my kids gotta get up in the morning you're like alright yeah. never mind sorry oh, yeah, I don't really that know sucks when you hit kids. a homie up you're like yo and they're like let me ask my kids and yeah. my wife. I'm like, oh, okay, no, never, mind. never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I hate saying with people. I hate it. <laughs> I, I usually hate it. Unless it's like, unless they're genuinely excited to have you over. Yeah. You get yeah. We get pretty spoiled by yeah. the people, like making That's us nice. little breakfast yeah. and taking us on little walks. We played a place in Milwaukee the other day. It's called JJ's Bar and Grill, but it's a house. Oof. And 
he offered to let us stay there, and I was like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh no. And he said he could accommodate both bands. Both so bands. we were so like, like uh oh. No. <laughs> but yeah. it, it ended up being like, I, I was like, all right, we'll 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 just go. Like, we're playing yeah. in the house, so we'll go and, and check it out. And if not, we're like, oh yeah, we know, you know, whatever. We're going to drive a little bit, mm-hmm. that sort of thing. Dude, <laughs> it was like a, a parent's house situation. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Very air conditioned basement. Oh. So many couches. The second the show was done, he put out a bunch of air mattresses for us. There's so many air mattresses. Us TV star, it, we did our own little Heaven's Gate. Yeah, it was mm. really. It was very cool. much like a little cult in the basement. That's fun. Was there a pool table? Don't tell me it was a pool table. There was no there pool was table. No. <gasps> Fucking dumb. I want to be out of there. <laughs> <laughs> but we did get like seven pizzas, and it was good. It oh, was really that's good. Awesome. Yeah. Pizza to the house. You don't have to, to go anywhere. That is a nice night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, a little sleepover little vibe. Sleepover. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. huge sleepover vibes. I'm, I like I like those. Okay. Kind of well, yeah, it sounds fun. Sometimes it's fun. We talked about retaining. Oh yeah, we talked about semen retention okay well you know as we do i you know what godspeed to those of that are capable but i couldn't possibly (laughs) couldn't be me retaining my semen i wish um it's funny when we we record these pods because they come out like a week later Mm -hmm. or something like that it's like you can't plug the tour you know what i mean Mm -hmm. yeah it's like this is the last day of the run right yeah Yeah, it's the last day crap so do you have any else things lined up down the road? Uh, we're going on tour again in October. It's not like there announced oh, shit. yet or anything. Mm, okay. But so keep your eyes we're, out. We're doing, a, bi- we're doing a big one. Ooh, not big in, one. A, 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 a long in, one. A geographically Blink big one. Blink-182 lit. No, yeah. not, not a big Weedis. band tour. Weedis? Geographically <laughs> large tour. Um, okay, okay, okay. How do you we're feel about a lot that? Of places. Uh, it's... Um, I look forward to playing shows. I like playing shows. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing currently is what we did with you guys, where we just set up and we play first, and then I get to put all my stuff away, mm. and I don't have to be scared at all about if people are going to come. Yeah. <laughs> and if they don't come, it's your fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is, that's yeah. Currently, what I'm rocking with. I can appreciate that position, but. How dope is it to make a bag once in a while? I've become really obsessed with making the bag. Yeah. I would like to make yeah. a bag. Yeah. I would hope to make the bag, but I, we're not in a it's bag coming. making position. It's still come. Um Yeah, dude, that tour is that tour is great. I just I was bummed. I wish it was longer. I feel like Me too. we just it's hard to get in the swing of things. Yeah. Yeah. So I felt sure. like three shows, but I feel like we were like hitting it and then it was just like, all right, uh, see ya. See ya. Four shows. Yeah. Oh, yeah, four. Yeah, we did the second night in Boston. I was like, I wish there was like another week of this. 14 but more of these. That would been great. Yeah. But that would have been we got real it. nice. Yeah. It was a cool crew. It was a great Everyone. crew. It was a fun tour. Mm. It was, that, was, that, was, that was great. I didn't have a voice, so that was that, nonsense. Yeah, I was fucked up. The ghost got Next you. time, dude, oh, man. I'm, people are going to be like, this guy is a freaking... Um, is that Ruben's? This guy's a uh, Michael Blay. Uh, Blay. This is Michael. <laughs> damn, is this freaking uh, uh, Dave, David uh, Do- Dobreg? <laughs> What's that guy's name? <laughs> what are you David o- who that? <laughs> David who? Um, Blaine? Koresh. Yeah, is this a David, David, David Koresh? Is that levitating up there? <laughs> David Koresh had a band. He did it right. <laughs> Yo, did the you band, watch? Did you watch the, the Waco part. show? Yeah. Yeah. Did you like the My Sharona sh- scene in the first episode where he's like rocking? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm saying. He put together a little group, and they had to watch him play. I know yeah. it's so funny. That's smart. That's that is awesome. The rest mm. of the stuff I can't really abide mm. by, particularly yeah. the sex stuff. I think everything but the sex stuff seemed kind of cool. Kind of, yeah. Like he was on. Everyone something. seemed like kind of happy. My. Yeah. Yeah, you know, no, what? it's no Heaven's Gate, but ancient pr- Chinese proverb: "Don't hate the player, hate the game." <laughs> yes, my man Koresh was just doing him. It's not, <laughs> it's not his fault that his game was unmatched <laughs> to, the, to the other husbands. <laughs> it's not the other wives that I'm that I find uh, distasteful. That's fine. Yeah, th- those are adults. Well, the, you just mean the young gals. Yeah, you shouldn't have been doing that. I forgot right. about the young gals. That part it's is not good. It's easy to forget because you want to forget You would it. like to forget. Yeah. I would like to remember my David Koresh <laughs> <laughs> without bullet holes in him and just playing my Sharona <laughs> at the bar. I have sex with all the guys' wives, and they don't get to. Just the, just, uh, just, uh, just. Just one of the wives. The rest is, is egregious. That's that's just rubbing You can have sex with one extra guy's wife. That's it. Well, I mean, all the guys were like 
fine. <laughs> yeah, they're like, you're so good at what you do, Krish. Yeah. I guess you have to. <laughs> There's no dead. Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate, I think, seems legit. Heaven's seemed, Gate, they die at the end. They right? all they die. Okay, they died. So, you, so you guys didn't pull that one off towards the end of the no. in Milwaukee, Sleepover. right? No, yeah. but didn't get that far. I think everything minus the dying and even maybe the dying, if they were right, seems mm -hmm. cool. They all seem to be friends. They're having a good time. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of parallels between Heaven's Gate and Being playing in a, band. In a touring band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of feels like like there's a scene in the the HBO Max documentary where. They're all just like in a 15 passenger van, just chopping Singing it up on the road, songs. having fun, making dinner together. It's funny you say that because I literally watched rewatched that the other day. It's uh, doesn't it seem kind of cool? It does seem it does and seem kind of cool. Everybody who didn't do it is like, man, I wish I, I really done it. wish I would have done That's it. That's a sad, sad part. Uh, the part where it gets like where they're cutting off their genitals, yes, that's yeah. the part that's where you like I... you start to feel bad for the people involved because they were like. Yeah, that was that was like kind of confusing time. Like I wasn't sure if I was into that. But there's that one guy Sawyer that's just like, yeah, yeah, I was prepared to do that. <laughs> that was, yeah, it didn't bother me at the time. They're like, what about like, was there talk of like the mass suicide when you were still involved in the group? He is like, yeah, I was prepared to do that. I was okay with that. I, I figured from the start like that was going to be a thing. <laughs> I was like, damn, this poor guy. He's just Is like. Is he the one who leaves because he can't stop jacking off? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah he's yes. cool. Yeah, we really liked him. He is cool. <laughs> the he is jack cool. off guy? <laughs> yeah, and he's, he's he, there's a scene where he does like a one man band thing and he's like mm -hmm. playing his harmonica. He's like, this guy's got this. He's kind of got something. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. I do feel sad for them. Oh, yeah. They cut their genitals off and died. But mm. I think that is Doe the guy? Yeah. I think he believed it too. Yeah. And the fact that they all believed it, I think that's cool. What's the scam? I don't feel like there was a scam. There wasn't much of a scam. The other they ones... even like told their family like go like go home, stay with your family if you want to stay, stay like you know they gave him they were mm. like please like only do this if you are you... truly rocking yeah. with it. The other ones, it seems like there's a scam, you know? It's David Koresh wants to fuck everybody's wife. <laughs> yeah, Doe um, Do wasn't trying to bang anybody. What's his name from Nexium wants to fuck everybody's wife. Oh, man, oh, how yeah, insufferable is that fucker? I we shaved my head because of that documentary. I saw oh. him with the long hair and the glasses, and I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't have the same drip as this guy. <laughs> It's, uh, it's so funny because you might actually be three entire feet taller than him. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> like, I, I feel like just watching the documentary, even I feel like it's hard to tell someone's height through a screen. Mm -hmm. He's tiny, he's tiny giving guy. Tiny guy. Tiny. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For sure. He's giving to He's giving <laughs> Polly Pocket. <laughs> he had to use the power of his mind to get pussy. Yeah. Well, that's Sad. pathetic. <laughs> So if you can't, can't use relate. your swag, can't yeah. if you can't pull it with swag alone, no, he's the most. You're in a cult, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had no swag. No swag. He he's had the least so swag of the cult guys. How can I get chicks? Hmm. Start a cult. Yeah. yeah. That was his his thought yeah. process. Yeah. Damn. That seems like too much of a roundabout way. I'm not fucking. With Rather that. up my swag level. Yeah. yeah. What no up. pussy yeah. do to a motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Makes you start next year. <laughs> Speaking of shaving your head, I, I have been pondering shaving my head for so long. Don't I haven't do done it since I've been like five. I look really weird with a shaved head. <laughs> it's a bad idea. You have beautiful hair. You want, you want to go back to a shaved head? But I, thank you. I but think I, I probably will at I some point because I'll be hair. going through a mental breakdown yeah, and have to do it. But Do you have ever shaved head? I used to have quite short hair. Uh-huh. But um, my head is insanely small for my body, so mm. I look very bizarre. See, that's, that's how I feel it, about my head. Yeah. If you have a tiny head, it's hard to have a bald head. I have a humongous head. I might be uh, the golden uh, Goldilocks right here. The good spot. Right I think middle. I have a normal head. Right yeah. Yeah. I think. Have you ever shaved your head? Uh, buzzed. Yeah. So not shaved, but yeah. buzzed. But like, like a, a number. A three, maybe? Some, it was a number. We took it around my head. Mm. Eh, I'm going to the skin. I want people to be like, <laughs> I want people to be like, what's happening to him? Is he <laughs> sick? Have you spoke to him? <laughs> yeah. He's really Has he taken something. a vow of silence? <laughs> <laughs> Has it's he started a cult? cool when, when you go all the way, it, you kind of have like a little monk yeah. swag. Mm. I can wear these glasses and look enlightened. Yeah. I feel like people will slap the top of my head or something if it's too short. <laughs> and that would really drive me insane. <laughs> Do you ever shave your eyebrows? Sam bleached their eyebrows. For oh, a while. It was cool. Yeah. It was cool. But it grows back quicker than you think, so then it looks like really fucked. Yeah, it does look weird. Yeah. To, to bleach. So do you, not dye, to shave. do you dye them back? 
I dyed them back, yeah, with just for men beard dye. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it works. Yeah. yeah. So if I, some, some of my grays I can get to take yeah. care of. Oh, yeah, for just sure. for men. And the thing that's cool about the, the beard dye specifically is you can just cook up a little bit. So just a little bit at a time. Throw it on. Yeah. You have to cook it? <laughs> <laughs> and you can bit. get it with Sam's affiliate code, Pony20. Just for men, 20. <laughs> Do you really real? have one? No. no. Oh man, I was like, give me the <laughs> give me the plug on that. I want gray hair now. so bad. You want up. gray hair? I, I have hair so really. much. Do you? Yeah, right in the front. Oh, yeah, right you do have gray bit. hair. I'm I honestly, I want. Life. I want gray hair. I have one. Not to dox you. How how old are you? I don't normally say this on our. Oh pod, no! Don't say it! Don't say it! Don't say it! No, I'm gonna say it for you guys. I think I'm ready to reveal. Yeah, you don't have to say it. Don't say it. No pressure. I'll tell you my I'm age. I'm 22. <laughs> Nuh-uh. No, I'm 33. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? 26. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is the truth. One of them is lie. One of those. I like it. I tell everyone I'm 36. Yeah. I'm actually 52. <laughs> <laughs> do you round up? What do you mean? Like when you're thinking about your age, like... Um, if I'm like a month away from my birthday, I'll be like, yeah. I'm. Oh, I round up for like a calendar year straight. So really? Like when my birthday yeah. comes, I'm like confused. Yeah. Uh, huh. I don't get confused, but I get worried that if it's a month out, I'm like, oh, I'm turning. Oh, I'm not saying I say I'm this age. And then someone's like, conversation comes up again. When's your birthday? And you're like, oh, it's next week. And they'll be like, oh, so you're turning. They age mm -hmm. me another year. Yeah. I get worried about that. I don't think it will ever happen, but get worried about it. It could, it honestly, could kind of work for you. Like, uh. Like a person like Alice Cooper, for example, mm -hmm. who has always looked incredibly old. That you see him weird. now. Yeah. You see him now, and you're like, "Damn, he looks he good." good. Yeah. He looks like shit. Yeah. If he looked cool, if he looked that good before, that is you'd smart. be like, "He looks like a fucking piece of shit." Totally. But he has looked bad forever, so now he looks good. Since like the 1970s, Alice Cooper has looked like um, uh, who's the guy that plays Fonzie? Uh, yeah, Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, why can't I think of fool's name? Plays, uh, the, the, the Howard Star. Um, um, Howard, Howard Star. Star. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a, it's you guys know who I mean, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is his name? Yeah, though? it's weird that I can't think of it. Richard Simmons. No. Henry Winkler. Henry, Henry Winkler. Winkler. Thank you so, so I wasn't too far off with thinking, like, Howard, Howard, Howard Star. Star. <laughs> it had a name like that. <laughs> Henry Winkler. He has looked like Henry Winkler does now. Since the 70s. Yeah. 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 That's nuts. And Morgan and now he just looks like more? that, but tan. Glow up? But tan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we went to the but Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Ooh, the other nice. day. Yeah. Um, with TV Star, and I'm going to I'm gonna out them right now and say that they all cried at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm. which is cool. Um, we didn't cry. We didn't cry. Mm. I was not really moved by it. No one it. in the crew cried. Um, mm. But... There was a lot of Rolling Stones stuff, a lot of pictures of Keith Richards. That fool looked old. Yeah. <laughs> looked old he's, as a young man. Oh, okay. So he's yeah. still alive, I think. Yeah, he's still alive. He's in the new like, And he still of, smokes cigs. How cool yeah. was that? Yeah. Committed to the bit. We were just yeah. talking about how cool cigs were. I don't fun. I'm not convinced that they are bad for you. <laughs> 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 Listen, my dad smoked his entire life, and he died from something else, so. There I rest go. my case. Smoking could be all right. Same. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You smoke? I, I did smoke. Oh, now you, you've come through. Yeah, I went clear. Like a long time ago, Yeah. before mm -hmm. I knew you. I was in a little bad girl phase. Oh, you know? nice. I was like, I'm so bad and sad. I'm still waiting for my bad boy phase. One day it will happen. Get, a leather, get a leather jacket, maybe a motorcycle. Yeah. You know? Would you ever Oops. ride a motorcycle? <laughs> I, I ran on, on one, but I have two, they're but terrifying. Yeah. So scary. We did a music video one time, and uh, Joe, who plays bass in Super Heaven, I was supposed to ride on the back of him, but I had a mask on. Okay. And it was really scary. Oh, my God. Because I couldn't see. You couldn't uh, see. couldn't see shit. It was just like a little bit. I was like, dude. Did you have a helmet on? Under the mask? No! Oh my god, what are you thinking? <laughs> you were going 15 miles an hour and I was Helmets, like... Helmets, that's for women. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared, dude. I was like, I hate this right I now. I get scared when I hear them on the roads because it just spooks me. Mm. Your legs are between the engine. That's terrifying. Yeah. It's scary to drive a car. If you get in an accident on a motorcycle, you're going flying. <laughs> yeah. And just Leaving your skin on the ground. Yeah, there's fools that straight up do like 120 miles an hour on, on sport bikes in the city. 
and just like <laughs> no helmet, nothing. They have like just like short sleeves on. And then they do this. They do the wheelie. No, you're like stop, 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 stop. <laughs> yeah, there's or sometimes you'll be like specifically under the L. A lot of mm-hmm. times there will be like a caravan of like 30 four wheelers that are all doing wheelies and it's the loud and they all just like a gang of them too loud comes too. down oh it's it's way the worst. too loud yeah I don't but like they're the all culture. doing wheelies and jamming <laughs> up traffic but what can you what do you what can you do you gotta let them cook yeah yeah that's it you do you yeah, yeah. i'll stay in my lane that's cool but i'm not gonna go flying and leave all my skin on the no I'm not let them kill I'm themselves a couple blocks that down yeah. and it's not my problem <laughs> Well, Maddie's dad told us a story once about how some guy down the block just got a new motorcycle, and he's like, oh he was God. trying it out, and a key like was trying it out and cut his fucking leg off, oh, and it was just like fuck. on the street. On the street. He's like, he cut his fucking his leg off. Yeah, see, I'm good. Yeah, I'm call good. me a pussy all you want. Uh-huh. I'm good. I don't need uh-huh. a motorcycle in my life. Uh, it's worth it, I think. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing feels more free. I mean, all right. So the show tonight, I pull up in a motorcycle. It kind of lit. Bum, 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 in like, one, <laughs> it's a three wheeler with yeah. like a, a full on cover. It's like one of those things they have in India. That's like kind of a car, but kind of a bike. I don't know what those are called. Yeah, I know exactly. And the three wheeler would be swag. It has a big like uh, shield on the front, like window yeah, yeah. for the bugs. I think it would be really cool if you pulled up on a four wheeler, but on a motorcycle, it would give midlife crisis. Four wheeler would. I feel like that That's would earn you different. some cred. People are like, damn, this fool's riding up on his quad. Just parks on the sidewalk. I'll get a quad. Yeah. I'll get a quad. I'll yeah. do that. I would ride, I'd much rather ride a quad than a motorcycle. It's less scary, I think. But going Dude, over. I think they're scarier. So going yeah. over the bridge <laughs> might be a little funny. I might get in trouble for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You <laughs> yeah, might going have to over the Delaware. The yeah, I'd have to store it in the city. <laughs> <laughs> store at the pra- oh I'm sure the practice base guys would be like, hey, you can you can give it out there. Yeah, I actually got a quad for sale back here if you want to take a look at mine. We have a practice space in Philadelphia, <laughs> and it's like a garage, and then above the garage is a few practice spaces on the side, and the people that hang out in there are the funniest characters you'll ever ever meet. <laughs> nice guys. I don't know what the fuck they do all day. Also, <laughs> like, calling it a garage is somewhat of an oversimplification. Yeah, I that don't makes know. it sounds like sound like it's a garage where they like work on cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you walk in and it's just like I honestly don't know what the purpose of this building is, <laughs> but it, it must have had like one. I don't want to discredit these gentlemen. <laughs> Someone definitely like and inha- had to have inherited yes. this building or bought it like decades ago when it was like a because d- it kind of still is a dump, but there's just cr- stuff everywhere and like they just built two rooms up. But there's people that like live there. Yeah. And shit. Oh. And they're always like every time we go there like Tinkering. once a week and there's always like many things moved around. There's like a huge <laughs> box of just like comic books or something yeah. one week and that'll be gone the next week. And there'll be a huge box. Not so much anymore. There used to be like produce. Oh, yeah. The I think produce. the produce place from across the street would just be like, yeah, those are going to go bad. You can just have them. So there'd be like <laughs> rotten tomatoes just sitting there for like a week. And then one t- one time there was like, we want to build a stage. And they built a whole stage in there. And we're like, why is there a stage? Sometimes it's, it's spotless in there. And the next week you go back, it's just a giant mess. <laughs> really expensive power tools everywhere, too. So I'm like, where are these guys getting all this money? And these guys, yeah, th- that's another thing. Again, not to speak ill of the gentlemen. Yeah, we love them if they're watching. They they're, like fans. they're strange birds. They're all like... They like the music. Calling them middle-aged is generous. <laughs> <laughs> and they just like, I don't know what any of them do. The one guy will hear him just screaming at other people sometimes. <laughs> like, he must be the guy that runs the show. And I don't even know what he looks like, but I know what his voice sounds like. Because I've heard him scream at people multiple times. And there's the other guy that's always chilling in there no matter what time of day. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, hey, fellas. Hey, what's going on? Oh. Well, we come down, just like go outside and take a break. He's like, oh, you guys sound good up there. Man. Like that song. <laughs> but he's like being genuine. Yeah. Like he's de- you could tell he's not just saying it, but it's funny because I don't know if he always remembers that he says this. That. No, he week. doesn't. <laughs> Where do you guys practice? Dude, uh, we practice in our house. Oh, nice. Um, when, we fir- when we first yeah. moved to Windsor, there's no practice space there. Mm-hmm. So I was like on Facebook trying to find in like the little musicians group. Yeah. Like, Please come and practice at your spot. This guy hit me up and he was like, yeah, I have a place you can practice. And then we like mm-hmm. had a little back and forth. Yeah. And as it like it started to come together, it was like, it's a private bar for motorcycle enthusiasts. Mm. And I was like, I 
think we found somewhere <laughs> yeah. else. Uh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> no, I'm too scared. We don't like motorcycles. I don't want to get involved yeah. with motorcycle enthusiasts. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what Windsor's like as far as. There's a lot of motorcycle. Mm. Do you think they would make you like ride one? <laughs> uh, We'd have I to wear a little like... vests when we play. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool if you guys just are honorary patched in. Yeah. <laughs> kinda... I feel like it would be like one day they'd be like, hey, uh, if you guys want to keep practicing here, you got to bring Kill this thing someone. somewhere else for mm. me. And I'd be like, well, I can, can I say no? You know? Hey, well, you know, what do you got to, well, I mean, I, it seems like a pretty <laughs> easy task. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. During the height of the <laughs> pandemic, a uh, notable hardcore to power pop musician hit me up asking me to deliver a luggage from the Detroit airport to Toronto. And I was like, I don't know you like yeah. that. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I think you made the right call there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when the airport's involved, that's different. You got airport and you got the <laughs> border, the border involved. Yeah. From yeah. Already that's the practice yeah. spot. I'm like, yeah, hand it off, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind that it's in a brown paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, what time do you guys have to be out of here? I don't want to hold yeah. you up or anything. Uh, we don't have to be there till like five forty-five. We're trying to eat lunch at Whole Foods before, which is very close. I'm cool. told. Yeah. Well, um, we can wrap it. Uh, we can plug. Sure. Sure. Pony. Uh-huh. First off, we're here for the Pony Show. Yeah. That's but right. also, you're pretty Maddie. Yeah. I have this tape right here. This tape. Yeah, that's true. Hold that up. Talk to the mic. Yeah, you'll, you'll, be able to, you'll be able to zoom in on this, right? Virtually. Yeah, I can. That's a, that's yeah. A, yeah, that's a, a nice, like, di- a digital. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh. That looks good. Beautiful. Well, the uh, way this works wow. is they got to talk on the mic so the camera picks it up. But, yeah. Um, you got the podcast as well. <laughs> we have the podcast that we've become very, very bad, bad at Too much TV. Yeah. But it's still incredibly great. Incredibly bad at doing well, it. You gotta, you gotta get, you're gonna have it up. You're going home we're soon. Gonna so go. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna get so back, back to on it. the saddle. Make yeah. sure to listen to the episode. Uh huh. Um, what am I? What am I missing? I'm missing a lot. I, I think couple I don't cats. Think, like, cats. We got cats. Yeah, we got love. cats. Uh, <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram, Pretty Maddie Pop Star. Boom. Uh, you can see the cats there. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's right. Um, Sam's giving dental advice on TikTok. Wonderful. Try my best. Oh, hell yes. Help the people. Yeah. Brush your teeth every twice a day. Uh-huh. You gotta. At least. Get those gums. What else? You and Joey can talk uh, dental. Uh, and they Lori do. can talk yeah, dental. Yeah. Stuff. They're talking dental already. Oh. Dental. They're, in, they're in the DM <laughs> talking <laughs> dental already. <laughs> well, I'm excited to come to the show tonight. It's going to be sweet. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for yeah, coming on the podcast. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, it's so fun. fun. I, I listen to this podcast while I do like little. Um, while I'm like tinkering around in my office all the time. That's what it's there for. Yeah, it Perfect. works. It's, it's great. like we're hanging out all when we're not hanging out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love that. <clears throat> well, see you, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.